I mean, because what's so interesting about this particular myth is I mean, sometimes we have myths in health and science and it's like, where the heck did that come from? It's a very pervasive, and but it's just, there's no way to know where it came from. But it, you know, but with something like this, it's, it's interesting because you can really, we can really pinpoint it almost to one study, which is kind of cool. One study and one person, Dr. Uh, Benji did, uh, he came out in the 1970s with something called the fine gold diet. And now this was an elimination diet, which just right off the bat, we have issues with it. But what it did is it cut out artificial colors, preservatives, and sugar, claiming to improve hyperactivity in children. Now, if you actually dig into what this quote unquote study was, there was no actual trial. There was no control group. This was just basically a series of observations and anecdotes. Um, it, it was all, it really relied on parental reports of behavior changes after implementing this elimination fine gold diet.